Okay, this is Steve Nenninger, and I don't like the way this sli slide just went out of my view. Okay, great. Let's see if we can make this a little bigger here. So this is Hookworms Part 2. As you remember, our last exciting lecture, we finished off with the end of the slides for Part 1, the introduction, and the discussion was any argument you can make for a probiotic, I can make for a parabiotic, restoring the normal healthy worm balance to our intestine if you are very autoimmune, illogically inclined. Well, obviously not everyone is, so some people don't even need to have this discussion, but some of us are, and we really need to figure that out. It can't always be about compromising parts of our lifestyle. You have to be able to function in the world and be effective, and you can't always do that. Um, if you're just living a highly compromised existence. So, humans are supposed to have worms. Let's discuss a little research on that front. And I will use my pointer. Humans have worms. So any of the ancient stool that they look at um, is filled with different worms. And that's not because these people were sick or pathological. It's because that's part of the normal human ecosystem in the intestine and here it just shows you you know the stool they f have found in ancient human feces and they list nine Afri different worms in Africa uh, in European stool they actually found 18 different kinds of worms that people had frequent obviously multiple uh, worms in multiple people and just Asia worms and North American worms, 16 different kind of worms. These things are not uh, an infectious illness. This is, they're no more an infectious illness than lactobacillus acidophilus is an infectious illness in our intestine. And then hookworms throughout time, this shows you worldwide, the distribution and these studies go back from 3000 BC to the present. Basically this isn't an isolated part of our ecosystem. Uh, this is a worldwide basic um, parasitic presence that is part of the ecosystem the same way you could probably find different bacteria universally throughout human, human beings. Uh, even the ancient Egyptians had worms in a mummy. So if someone's being mummified, you know they are very well off and probably had the best Egyptian herbal medicine or other type of medicine at the time and they found worms. Julius Caesar they think had worms so this is certainly not something that was avoided by societies becoming more advanced. In fact they find that even in um, Rome there was a higher concentration of worms than uh, the people that lived before in that area. Um, yeah, they find worms throughout North and South America, and they found hookworms here in the 9,000 year old site, uh, archaeological site in North and South America, data is as old as 9,000 years ago. So, this is certainly not something that is new, and by not having it, some of us are just very inclined to have our immune systems run amok without the controlling signals that we receive from worms. Okay, that concludes part two.